Hide your wife, hide your kids. Mm. Ma, damn girl. No, I look expensive. Beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well this Christmas season. Today I'm excited as I always am because I'm about to try that new new. Hey, I know, I know I'm here sitting with my lips that look so ashy right about now. I've not just forgotten my Vaseline. There is a reason to this. I'm about to swap the new lipsticks in from Fenty Beauty. These are called the Matte Mazelles. And I saw them all over Instagram and I was really, really excited. I saw the ad, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try these out, like what? I was literally so excited at the idea of being able to try these out. And I'm not gonna lie, I saw some shades that I was like, this isn't gonna work on me like at all like there's some green some oranges some bluey shades but in the same breath i'm like you know what it's okay to have fun so i'm gonna have fun and see what i look like with these on but there's some great nudes and beiges and pinky colors that are way more up my street so i believe there are 15 shades and these are priced at Oh, they're $18, okay, $18. I actually don't think that is too expensive for Lippy. So I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna share with you and show you what I think. As you can see, I have all of the shades. Crazy, right? Absolutely nuts, I've got all of the shades. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch. And I'm just gonna give you the lowdown as I swatch these goodies. Before I get into this video, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you're not following my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, Make sure you follow me. I'll have it all linked down below. But yeah, let's get into this video. Firstly, can we just say shout out to the packaging? How gorgeous is this gonna look in a collection? Like, uh, I swear nowadays they make makeup just so it looks nice. Like, this is so pretty. Right, the first shade that I'm gonna try out is called One of the Boys. Oh, okay. This shade here is called One of the Boys. And I love the little detail just on the tip, just like that. Oh God. So it's a matte, but it feels quite creamy going on. <laughs> mm. Mm. I mean, it's so interesting when brands come out with shades like this, like where do you think we're going? Um, it feels really nice on. It's a matte lip, but it's creamy, it's it's smooth, it is not drying, and I feel like it will come off like a dream. But Patricia, where? Like, where would you go with this? This is great for like Instagram. Take your Instagram photo, you know, I'm an artiste with my kind of pastely, baby sick purple lips. What I will say, even though it's a matte lip, it came off with beautifully. It isn't one of those drying matte lips. And that's so important. Like we don't need to have scaly lips, not a good look. Okay, this is called Candy Venom. Ooh, it's a vibrant, it's a vibrant pink over here. This is Candy Venom, really, really pink. Let's see what this looks like on. Honestly, sometimes I'm really scared of these colors and I'm not using a lip liner because I wanted to keep it as true as possible. Oh, that's kind of fresh, you know. <gasps> wow. The level of payoff on this is so real. <laughs> hide your wife, hide your kids. I am coming to town with this luminous pink lippy. This is literally fluorescent. You need sunglasses to look at me. Do I like it? Yes, I just feel like it makes my chocolate pop even more. I'm really excited for summer. This is what this makes me excited for. But you know, you have your balance between African auntie and you know, cutting edge of fashion. I think we might just be leaning to cutting edge of fashion. Okay, the next shade is called PMS. All I know that this is looking like a very lit brown. Look at the level of beauty on that shade. Just look at that. Yes, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Come through payoff. Yes! No, I look expensive. This is fantastic. Look at the shade! Don't take the piss. <sighs> the shade is beautiful. Can you imagine just one little lip highlight right there? I just need a faux fur jacket. I need a little dog. 
and a Hermes bag. This, this should be called Bougie Brown. Bougie Brown. You know what? I'm gonna do a lip shade called Bougie Brown. Don't take it from me, Rihanna. Don't take it from me. <laughs> I'm in shock at how fantastic that shade is. Okay, what do we have next? Mardam. I love the naming. Okay, Mardam. This is looking like a kind of darker red, a darker red to stunner. Let's just roll with this one. Oh! Woo! I just caught myself in the reflection. Mardam. Mmm. Come on. I like this more than stunner. Ma damn. Just crazy. I haven't felt like I needed a lip liner with any of these colors, which is rare for me. Ma damn, girl. Okay, this shade is called Spanked. That's a little racy, Fenty. It's a little racy. This isn't really the kind of pink I'd go for because it's like a pinky red. But let's see what it looks like on. Yeah, this looks auntie on me. And I look like I've got a beard. And the thing is, there's certain shades that as soon as I see them, I like, no, they're not gonna be for me. Spanked, you're not for me. I do look like the auntie who forgot her liner, got carried away, went to like Marks and Spencer's or Debenhams to buy makeup. And the lady at the till did her makeup. That is what this looks like on me. You gotta know your shades. You gotta know your shades. Pinks that are too dark? No. Mm, this is exciting. Okay, this shade is called Midnight Wasabi. I'm actually quite nervous because it's a green. It's a green. Do you know what? It's kind of a cute green though. It's not like green. It's like green. This is what this looks like up close. It, you know what I'm saying? Like it isn't the worst kind of green. Nice green, moss green. Don't know if this should be on lips though, but let's see. Okay. Ooh. I can't decide. I can't decide. I mean, will I be getting on the London Underground with this? No, right? But it is a bad look. No. You guys, you have to tell me in the comments. What do you guys think? Like if you like it, okay? I think it looks very cool though. It looks kind of artistic. Maybe in springtime when like the leaves are forming again, you might wanna, I don't know. Not for me on an everyday basis. But what I've gotta say is that I cannot get over how these matte lipsticks feel. So I'm down for that. The green right now, you guys decide. I love, love, love the name of this shade. It is called Clapback. Clap back. Look at that gorgeous navy. Woo! No, this is rude. This is so rude, because it is so good. Another point I have to make is that the shape of these are really good in terms of they're quite small and the angle is great for just getting nice detail. It's a really, really good shape. And just look at that color. Honestly, it's so nice. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Like, look, overall, I could just come up here, do my video in my blue lips, and just be like, hey, clap back. I'm feeling this. This is fabulous. This is called Yadig. Yadig. Oh, definitely a blue, but more like a violet kind of shade of blue right about now. My lips are feeling a touch sore, so I'm gonna go with my Dior lip glow just just to give me a little balm. This is my favorite balm of all time. Lord God. No. <laughs> this is similar to the first shade. This is a hundred, a hundred percent, it's a no. It's a no. <laughs> a blue shade like this is gonna make your teeth look so yellow. <laughs> no, no, no. This comes on my, under my category of baby sick. No. This shade is called Up To No Good and I feel like we're getting into the territory of looks bad on Patricia. It is what I call just that kind of peachy color, which is great, you know, not every color is for you, but I could be proven wrong. Oh. 
there are just some shades on the spectrum that are not meant for me. <laughs> you know, not every shade is for us. Some shades are a nil point, zero points. No. Um, yeah. The funny thing is, basically, this really does give me KKW vibes. KKW Beauty, every shade was lit. <laughs> Which is why it was such a fail. Come get your shade. It's not for me. As it, I take this off, I look like I've got the worst case of dry lips you've ever seen. Oh God. We've got another dark brown shade here. This shade is called Griselda. I love that name. I love the name Griselda. I think I've met one girl called that in my whole life and I was just like, well, that's such a cool name. But I like older names. It's a duck. It's a sexy. Um, reminding me of the shade PMS. Here we got Griselda, up close and personal. I'm excited about this shade. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, the dark shades are fabulous. Did not disappoint Griselda. Okay, so Griselda and PMS are very, very different. Griselda is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I need a liner though. For some reason, I feel like it was just messier. Maybe because I've already swatched like nine lipsticks and it's just gonna get a little bit, you know, imperfect. But the shade is gorgeous. It's more like a dark, dark, dark red. Dark, 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 like blood red. Um, really, really nice. And the PMS is more like a brown. But this is hot fire. This is hot fire. So next up is this shade called Freckle Fiesta. Gorgeous name, I love it, and it's an it's an orangey, but it's a weird orange. It's like an a, a real, real orange, but not like an orange red. It's just orange. It's actually prettier than I thought it would be because I did see this on some of the advertising, and I was like, no, honey. Okay, okay, okay. Freckles Fiesta is again a weird one. I like it. I think I think a liner would make this look better, but it doesn't look as awful as I thought it was going to look on me. This would be really nice in the summer, and actually I think it makes my melanin pop as well. I okay. I'm turning. I like it. I've got a special occasion, and I want to let people know I've arrived. And this is the kind of shade that I would wear. Okay, so I just thought that the shade that I used was a true orange. Nah, -uh, that is more of a muted orange. This shade here is called Saucy. Saucy, love it. This is a bright orange. Look at the levels of orange on that. I wonder what I'm gonna look like with that on. Saucy, saucy. I like that. That's a real orange. I don't know about this, mate. Why do I like this? I love slash hate it. It just really pops. It, I love the way it pops. It's so pigmented. I just love the way it's pigmented. I really love that. I'm saucy. Dun, 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 dun. I'm saucy. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I like about these? I feel like it makes my colour pop more. Like, it doesn't wash me out. It just makes me look even more, like, rich, you know? Rich in colour. Rich in colour, rich in life, you know? That's really important. But I think that this would suit so many skin tones. Like, I could see someone look at who was really pale, and this orange would just complement them amazingly. I cannot wait for 2018. I feel like colour's about to just come back into our lives. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, next shade. Oh, uh, it is called Single. Single and ready to mingle. I am not single, but if I was, maybe this shade would bring me a man. Is that the principle? I don't know. I think this is going to bring me old age pensioner because I can tell it's a shade that just might not look good on me. But you never know, you know. You may never know. This is this shade up close. As you can see, it's that kind of it's kind of that in the middle pink that doesn't usually suit me. Looks good on my bottom lip. Um, it's a nail. I tell you, there's this, this shade of pink I know that doesn't look good on me. If I was single and I was looking for a man wearing this, 
I would be single for very long. Very, very long. Okay, this is the final shade of all of the shades, the 14 shades, and it's called Shawty with a W. Ugh. This is gonna be cute, I'm glad. Shorty looks like another dark red. Let us roll. Go Shawty, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Mm. I'm a bit taken aback by this because it looks a bit like a poo brown. What's mad is that you have to find the right tone for you. This is the kind of brown, I don't even know how to call it, it's more like a orangey, browny, reddy, bricky, bricky, reddy brown. And it looks more like a poo brown on me, doesn't suit me. Doesn't suit me. These, the, I know these shades, they don't suit me. But you know what, we've got PMS and we've got Griselda that are beautiful. So, you know, I don't need you, shorty. I don't need you. You will not define me. Okay guys, that is it. That is me swatching this video. I had to put on my favorite color um, at the end, just so you guys remember how fantastic this shade was. All in all, I believe there are 14 shades. It might be 15, but I've got 14 in front of me. And um, I've got to say, out of all 14, I felt there were one, two, three, four, five that I really, really loved and right now need to be in my permanent regular collection, which, no surprise, was the PMS, the Griselda, Clapback, this colour, which is Mademoiselle, and actually Candy Venom, which was, which was the really bright pink. And then I have another five that are more or less like on the bench. So these are if I was trying to be a little bit more creative, but I know they would look good on me. And then I have four that I would just like, it's a nil point for me, it's zero points, we don't like you. Which include the, the two pasty shades and the lighter blue called Your Dig. So overall I feel like there are a great selection of shades. I do feel like the darker ones for my skin tone were more suitable for like actual wear. I think all of them would look amazing on Instagram, in videos, in pictures, but walking down on the high street, you might scare people. But overall, I must say, I found that they're very, very good quality. They feel great on my lips. And I know that I've lip swatched in the past, so my lips feel red raw. And they feel great, they feel wonderful. They are not a drying formula. So if you can find at least two to three shades, I think you'll be good. Um, it'll be nice to have a liner just to make it be a bit easier to use. But the shape was really good to kind of help with that. But overall, there's at least five shades I absolutely love. Um, $18 I think is a great price because um, this is really a higher end brand let's be real when it comes to Fenty Beauty and I can't wait to see what else is gonna come through from Fenty Beauty because it's cute <laughs> guys I'm quickly back because I decided to do a wear test it's Christmas Day today hey everyone is downstairs and um, I just thought I'll quickly um, just drop this bit in because I watched my video and I was like, oh, you know what, I should tell you guys how I felt about how it wore, how it wore. So I wore it all of yesterday and I love the way the color stayed. It lasts really long, very, very comfortable. But what I will say is it definitely transfers. So it's not like a matte lip where you touch your lips and you know, there isn't any transfer, it transfers. I was giving my little one kisses and her face was like covered in lippy. <laughs> but um, you know, the color still stays on your lips and you look gorgeous, but yeah, it's not a matte lip that doesn't transfer. But it feels really great, looks really good and I wore it enough today. So yeah, overall thoughts, I hope you're having a lovely Christmas time and I will see you probably tomorrow because I might have another video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.